In this video we're going to take a look at logarithms and exponents. Remember logarithms and exponents are inverses of each other and we can write them from one form to the other. So we can look at the definition of a logarithm which says that if we have an exponent in the form b to the x and that's equal to a well the logarithm of that is the log base b of a is equal to x. So we can convert, if we have an exponent, we can convert it to a log and vice versa. So let's take a look at some examples. Here we have 3 to the seventh power is equal to 2187. Well, we can write that as a logarithm by doing that conversion. So the log and my base is this part right here, the base log base 3 of 2187 is equal to 7. Now remember the logarithm if we have that base what we're saying is 3 to what power gives me this number right over here? 3 to the seventh power gives me that number. So let's take a look at this one. 5 to the third power equals 125 writing that as a logarithm it's going to be the log base 5 of 125 is equal to 3 and again it makes sense 5 to the third power gives us the 125 okay so we can take a number or uh, an equation that's written as an exponent and convert it to a logarithm we can go vice versa as well. So here we have a couple logarithms and I want to convert them into exponential form. So for this one, remember the log base 6 of 216 is equal to 3. What that means is 6 to the third power is equal to 216. Well, that makes sense because 6 times 6 is 36 times 6 is 216. So we can know that we did it correctly because this thing is true right here. Alright, how about this one? Well, that's 9 to the third power is equal to 729. Because if we could figure it out, 9 times 9 is 81 times another 9 is 729. So that makes sense. If we would put these numbers together differently, we're going to get something that's not true. So we can check it that way. Let's take a look at how we can work with this and do some mental math as well. So log of 10. Oh, there's no base written there. Huh, what's that mean? Well, when we don't write a base, this is called a common logarithm. The log is the base 10. So if we don't write a base, it's base 10 and these are the ones that our calculator can do so if you wanted you could throw that in your calculator and figure it out but I don't even need to bother with a calculator because remember base 10 well what's this really mean 10 to what power gives me 10 hmm 10 to the first power would give me 10 so the log of 10 is just 1 how about this one down here this one has a base the base 5 so it's 5 to what power gives me 625? Hmm, let me think. 5 times 5 is 25, so that's 2. Times another 5 would be 125. Times another 5 would be 625. So I gotta count those up again. So 5 times 5 is 25, times another 5 is 125, times another 5 is 625. So this would be equal to 4, because 5 to the 4th power gives me 625. Let's do one more here quick. How about if we have the log base 3 of 1? Hmm. Well, 3 to what power gives me 1? Huh. Well, anything to the 0 power gives me 1. So this would be equal to just zero. Let's try one more. How about the log of base two of one half? 
Huh. Well, let's see. Two to what power gives me one half? Remember, if we have negative exponents, that it does that little flip. Two to the negative first power is one half because we flip that down to get rid of that negative power. So here, in this case, 2, the log base 2 of 1 half is negative 1. So logarithms and exponents, we can convert between the two. They're inverses of each other. And if we have a exponent, we can write it as a log. If we have a log, we can write it as an exponent. And we can use the properties of logarithms to figure some out mentally, remembering that it's the base to what power gives me that log right there. Also remember, if there's no base written, we're looking at the base 10. And our calculator can do those for us as well. Hope this was helpful. Keep working hard on your math, and I know you'll do very, very well.